of three years, because a few years ago, we published a paper which showed a very simple way to get aluminium out of human beings. If you give them a, 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 a mineral water, which is rich in silicon, rich in something called silicic acid, SiOH4, the biologically available form of silicon, they pee aluminium in their urine. You can titrate aluminium from your body with a silicon-rich mineral water. And in this case, we were able to show we could do so in people with Alzheimer's disease. We now have programs up and running for healthy volunteers, people in their 20s. We have a program up and running for Alzheimer's disease where we're extending the period of time over which they are taking the silicon-rich mineral water to around 13 weeks. And we're just starting a program for Parkinson's disease. Again, without, I'm not giving anything away by telling you that we have, are going to be and have already been successful in removing aluminium from all of these types of people by simply giving you something you can buy on the supermarket shelf. I'm going to break all protocol and tell you that the one water that worked incredibly well was a water called Volvic in the United Kingdom, made by a French company called Volvic. Made by a French company called Danone. But I can't tell you that now, because since Danone went into an agreement with us to work in this area, they then told me they no longer want to work with us. They no longer want to be associated with the possibility that aluminium, removal of aluminium might be an important thing. They will benefit from it at some point because they are one of the few companies that have a silicon-rich mineral water. The one that we work with as well is a company called Spritzer, who will be more than happy for me to mention them in, in Asia, in, uh, based in Malaysia. And their, their mineral water is even more effective than Volvic. It contains even more silicon. There are no downsides to silicon. Silicon is good. Silicic acid, SiOH4, is good. I haven't got time to tell you why, but believe you me, it is. And here's a quick snapshot. This is just one individual. All we really need to see, we've got excretion of silicon in the urine. That's the black. We've got excretion of aluminium and other metals in the urine. The aluminium is the red. Against time for, for an individual having drunk a silicon-rich mineral water. I think we can all see that the aluminium and the silicon come out together. We have this for about 25 healthy controls, males and females now. It's very difficult data to do sort of stats on, you're not sure what you're gonna do on single individual, you're gonna try and put it all together because everybody's physiology is different. So we're working on that. So I'm just showing you one example. But we know that you drink a silicon rich mineral water, you pee aluminium. It's absolutely, I'm absolutely confident if you included a silicon-rich mineral water in your everyday diet, that most of us could get our aluminium contents down to as close to inverted commas normal as possible. Like many of you, I am contacted on a regular basis by people who have been adversely affected, sometimes by vaccination but, and other aluminium-related issues. I have been contacted by parents of girls who have taken the um, human papillomavirus um, um, vaccination and they have said is there anything we can do is it got anything to do with aluminium I don't tell them it's got anything to do with aluminium that's not my role I am not a doctor I would simply tell them look if there is anything to do with aluminium try taking a silicon rich mineral water I tell them which one I am increasingly getting emails back six months a year later they're telling me that their daughter is better. I'm not making this up. Their daughter is better. I say, well, it might have had something to do with that. It might just be something else that you're doing, but that's great news. So anecdotally, at least, we're getting good results here 